I thought I evacuated them. In Grissom Academy. Is there somewhere I should go? <laughs> Oop! I think I did. I think I got. I don't know. I'm confused. Sit. That's so funny. Oh my god. What? Listen, I thought of something. No, it can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. Their statues have legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? Hey, cow. Yes, I know the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this... A classified project. It needs all the Prothean intel we can find. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that could help us, even today... Oh my god. It's my money and I want it now. Citadel defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. Thank you. So you're fleeing the Citadel? Running to Sanctuary? If you trust the Council, you'll stay here. Have you seen Palavin? Or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here, you've got the council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Leave the account open. Besides, We're the doggy Nuna. <laughs> J.G. Wentworth. You're right. Guess all we can do is hope for the best. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Um, so I'm thinking... <gasps> Trinity, hello, welcome. Eat some seven cash now. Any okay. Can only be returned for store credit. I'm just gonna get this. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. She's been calling me Catherine all day, oh no. <gasps> a jellyfish! And a dartfish! Canala Exports is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. Cultivating serenity. Udina got shot, yeah. Even during times of crisis. And then I'm just exploring the citadel. Anyone brought up Ashley today? No, we've had very peaceful stream with no arguing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, is that a scope? I'm just gonna get it. That's cool. Cultivating serenity is we appreciate even during visit. times of crisis. Oh, Trinity, thank you so much for coming from TikTok. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, I just tried to um, get emotional support from Yuna and it didn't really work. You want my security bids? Bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? Those bids could be vital for the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job to do. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus, we're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Yes. 
I have some high profile customers. And word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC. Oh? You think um, insider trading and electronic smuggling right now? Jesus. Nobody else. You got my word. I love that she's in her sexy dress. I didn't plan this, y'all. I didn't think the Citadel was literally going to be blown up. Okay. Yeah, Trinity, you're in the right place then, because I cry all the damn time. I was just crying. Damn it. <sighs> kept digging a few hours longer, we'd have gotten the obelisk of Kusa. I know the Hades Nexus is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that. <gasps> How'd it go, Cat? The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Rosetta Stone? How much it could have helped for us Protheans. Six episodes in, I was like binging it. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone in the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take them to court. But okay, a bunch so, of civilians yeah. shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel yeah. safer. The commander's right. Because they'll just panic and get themselves killed. I just... I just want people to be safe. I know. But second-guessing CSEC isn't the way. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia? Yeah. Okay. That'd be something. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them. E-Crimes. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. <laughs> how is that you renegade? Sure that Seriously? How is that That's renegade? Forget the small Yes. Thing. Support defense and security and yeah. anyone who threatens the peace. You make right. it sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. Whatever. Maybe I am right. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife. To my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. Evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. The fuck? Guys, what just happened there? Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup. Good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. 
If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. <laughs> yes, Commander. She's Sorry, so Commander. sassy. I'll shut it down. Thanks. You're welcome. Also, I don't like you because your your lining of your outfit is the same color as my hair. And that's strawberry's color. So you're gonna need to find another color to line your coat with. I know, Mick. Right? She's a freaking queen. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a cactus. They're good in mountains and use toxins for those who pay loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something... Great hair from all the stress. Hi, Aslo. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. He ought to be locked up. All right, so let's go to the embassies because there was a side quest. Dude was just interesting. Antoine. Okay. Shepard, why did you kill that man? He was wearing my color. <laughs> That's my shepherd. That's my shepherd. Hi, everyone. What are you doing? Oh, arguing. Of course, Snail. Go ahead. Thank you for asking. Um, really quick, want to be cheesy. If you don't like cheesiness, close your ears, but I'm really thankful for you all. Thank you for watching me play this and helping me and stuff. Oh, Amaranth. Oh my god. I thought she was banned. Hi, Bills. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. I put Uno reverse two. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Bailey, I didn't know Bailey would be such an iconic character. But he's so important to me. Could this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. I'm glad his ears aren't we're orange anymore. Our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Do you like uh, my sexy dress? Us. This is so far beyond our imagination and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Bestie Bailey! Bestie Bailey! Oh, I have checked that a bit, Snail, but I didn't know because there's not much you can do, right? Oh, can we take down that sign? Shit, can we take down that sign? Hello, sir, can you take down that sign? Udina is perished. 
You're so sweet, Snail. Plus four romance card. Ooh. Damn, Materia and access codes with Spectre level access codes. It is possible to bypass standard security protocols and track top level abilities. Yep, enable. Batarian patient named Gorak is located in a matrix clinic in the temporary refugee camp. He is suffering from undisclosed but severe injuries. Medical staff from the hospital have provided painkillers, but there is no viable long term treatment. No data on Gorak is available prior to his arrival on the Citadel. CSEC has requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus informants on the Citadel. Officers have tapped public surveillance feeds, but do not have legal access to, pr to private security feeds. Oh, go ahead. Financial report. According to financial estimates, a division of Elkos combined, the Citadel races cannot sustain the cost of, of the war effort for more than one year. Although military spending has stimulated certain market sectors, shortages and rationing in other areas of finances, blue blah blah. Booby boop boop. CSEC has fielded requests for a civilian militia to defend the Citadel in the event of another attack. Authorize. Yeah, have a civilian militia. Go off, kings and queens, and everything in between. Medical supplies originally meant for occupied zones have been rerouted to the Citadel because the Reaper invasion has made delivery impossible. Go ahead. Okay, is there anything here that y'all think I would like? Oh. I thought I got this. I don't know. Heating stabilizer technology. Geth Typhoon for Garrus. Ezzo, that sounds cool. Right, let's get the typhoon. Oop! I ran out of money. <laughs> I ran out of money. <laughs> I thought I had more money than that. Damn. Maybe it's because I buy every fish and toy I see. In every upgrade I see. Oops. So, is there anything else? Oh, let's go to the Joker. Um, yeah, and then I guess back that way. James is in the docks. Those are important for morale. Aw, I didn't know that. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> oh no. I do like James. I do like James. Uh. No, I like him. I liked him infinitely more when I learned he was voiced by Freddie Prince Jr. Uh, let's go here. I fucking love James, he's a dumbass. Personal morale. Oh, I thought you meant like the rest of the ship's morale. And I was like, aw, how cute. But no, just mine. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
Uh, hey, Sanji, so I did um, this Citadel thing. I just did the Citadel exploding. <laughs> Cerberus. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, Thane. That was really sad. Cried about that. Yuna was no help. Good times, good times. Hey, I did the thing. Oh, you don't want to... <sighs> oh my god. I thought that you wanted me to do that and then I could turn in the quest. One extra BB fish in the tank. Entire crew being more willing to put their life on the line for war. Yes. Exactly. Hello? I'm so confused. Who is Celia? Courtyard. Is that up there? No, it's here. This? I can't talk to them. Liara moved places. Yeah, I found her, but she didn't want to talk to me. Oh, here. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have e crimes dig into them. Might even help us find a little present server is left for us. Okay. And then Celia. 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 Celia is the barkeep. Oh, thank you. Barkeep, barkeep, barkeep. Thank you. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Oh, I don't have the money. <gasps> All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women Thank serving you for shopping the Alliance. Thank you for Fabrication Weaponry. Celia! Where are you, Celia? Celia! Celia's not here. I'm giving up on her. I'm absolutely giving up on her. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Oops. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. Yeah! We'll be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. Whoop whoop! Hell yeah! Your baby's level five now. I am level five. I am level five. I, I mean, 45. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Talk to Celia again. The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatch after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. Yeah, she's 45. Um, okay, fine. I'll go by the ships. I gotta go all the way down, though. People naming babies and strawberry in the future so cute. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Proceeds 
proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and Casa women serving the hasn't forgotten Earth. It's a Larian baby named Strawberry. That sounds so cute, though. I hate that the only female Solarian is a B I C T H. Yes, she's a bitch. B I C T H. Now, purgatory time. I said, go say hi to uh, James and Joker. Maybe I, uh. Now Bicked. Bicked. Oh my god, look at this cutie. You do not understand. The code of the ancients is the collective wisdom of our people. With overwhelming sadness, it was lost when the Kuna fell. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. With um, why is he following me? Move out of my way! <gasps> I'm stuck. Help me. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <gasps> Help! Oh my- okay. Hi, Pino. How you doing? How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have died when make wall it. came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. It'd only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. Boring conversations. I love that everyone's still partying it up. In purgatory. Where's Lucifer Morningstar? He would love this bar. Hey, Dame. Look who's here. Hi. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Whatever you say, Arya. I'm gonna get, get drunk and then um, end up on this couch. Oh. <gasps> I found her! This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Oh. Complain if you like, but I think military- Oh, I thought I was you. flirting with her. Hey, running back to the alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. Oh. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> Come on. What? I'm buying the you duty drink. Rosters can wait. Right now you're on shore leave. Yeah, let's party it up with Jack. <laughs> Shepard. 
Nobody knows you can't dance. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> she can't. She cannot dance. Oh my god. That's so cute. Okay, I'm not gonna, gonna I'm not gonna get drunk tonight. <gasps> Edie! I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. I love that she's just hair. standing it there. It's of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. Judist, hello. I'm doing well. How are you? Hey guys. Look at this. All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Twerks. Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Oh. You know, with all this interest in eating, it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh, I, I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. And now that you're considering it? I've served with you from the day you took command. I'd follow you into hell. But not into my quarters. Well, chain of command, Shepard. In an alternate dimension without military ranks, I would rock your world. But in this one, Edie? Well, yeah. What do you think? That's so cute. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes <laughs> action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, That's so cute. I loved that. That was really sweet. Not too welcome back. <gasps> Haven't broken anything yet. Oh. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. 
Good girl, Yuna! Why are you looking outside? Good girl, but why are you looking outside? Did you just come back from outside? And then you peed on the path? Hi, Bubba. I love you. I love you. You had no idea that was a thing that's so funny. I haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Go off, Joker. Dance, dance, dance. I'm so proud of him. And I love that she like flirted with him and he was like, ah, yeah, I would, but you're my commander. I thought it was really cute. Okay, I think that's all I have to do here, right? Edie's just standing there awkwardly, right? Um, Arya, yep, talk to all of them. Liara. Oh, let's go to the let's go to the nurse and James. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive, but you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. Aww. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp, I'll be here when you're done. So far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Hi, Yahoo. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? Who? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You oh. butchered a colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to. I destroyed Aratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Ah. Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. What? <gasps> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Oh. <laughs> oh my 
my god. So sad, Jesus. Damn it, I'm telling you, someone sabotaged the medical dispensers. No, if I knew who, I'd have had them arrested. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Torian soldiers dying for lack of medication. The terrorist made you feel bad for your war crimes. Yeah. Damn it, I'm telling you, someone sabotaged the medical dispensers. No, if I knew who, I'd have had them arrested. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Torian soldiers dying. For I don't believe it. What happened, James? Excellent. That will really get people's attention. Thank you, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. <laughs> have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. You just gonna stand there and watch? You're kind of making me nervous, Commander. I'd ask him to deal you in, but I think they're afraid of you. You're kind of killing my mojo here, Hefe. I was up a minute ago. You just came by at a bad time. You just gonna stand there and watch? Come on. I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. There's nothing this galaxy can't be if we all work together. Damn it, I'm telling you, someone sabotaged the medical dispenser. No, if I knew who, I'd have them arrested. It doesn't Where are. Okay, here's one. Here we go. I didn't know that, Matt. How did they lose them? I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Back up your Thank files, you. I'll kids. I'll patients moving through triage immediately. I wish we could have found the bastard responsible for the sabotage. But this is going to save a lot of lives. Thank you. Korean 7th Fleet. Oh, Shin, I remember you asked me what season I'm on with Lucifer. I'm still on season 3. There's so many episodes in the season. It's crazy. I like it, though. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Yeah! Okay, back to the Normandy we go. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. They lose stuff like that all now the time. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Wait, is this Normandy? I think it is. Oh, Cortez is here! <gasps> Cortez is here! I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us I to told an to do it. on Zani. And he did! A gravity planet. Toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant OMB? No, Private. We are not. Finally made it off the Normandy. Yay! Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS hopping call. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock at that. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. 
lone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Hmm. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. Cortez. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. Not if you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> you gotta let go. For real this time. Aww. The refugees here have put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. <sighs> Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I love him. Yes. Sit, welcome back. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. What a sweet bean. Um, so I was romancing Thane. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who I locked into. Oh! Okay. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? Give an apology. I'm trying to wrap my head around what just oh happened. Oh my god. You sound angry. Yeah. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I don't want down it. It's got me. I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. Yeah, let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. <laughs> I swear to God! I swear to God! Stop! I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is we stop the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. This himbo! The way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I put my gun Knowing down. that you acted with integrity. But it matters. Yeah. We're talking about Udina. You think he would have come in quietly? Caden, he gave you no choice. You had to take the shot. Oh, he's gonna be a boohoo baby about this. Integrity. I saw the whole thing. All right. Thanks. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. What? Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Sure, but I'm not gonna take you anywhere. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. <laughs> Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Okay, I'm sure, Caden. Sure. Sure. Uh, yeah, you'll never doubt me again. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 sure. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him at both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he showed up again on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. Damn. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asarians ah. are in their now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. 
We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. Aww, Shepard. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. And as an out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing <gasps> to talk. Understood, sir. Can I go I'll fetch my Tali? Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? Mm -hmm. A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. They're always talking about Cerberus when I come in. Commander. 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 I found what you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. Monster. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. Commander. Ooh! Come on, da. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to speak with the civilian. I'd love to see how come on, da. <laughs> ah, Kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise a night of fun and games? Everyone wants to go to my cabin! The networks are going wall to wall with coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Odina's death. Can I get an hour or so with you to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the conference room so we don't get interrupted. I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Come on down. <laughs> I can't read it, I can't read it, I can't read it. <laughs> ah! Siha, I write this with a heavy hand knowing you will read this letter when I am no longer able to share my thoughts. I am dying, Siha. Perhaps because of the differences between our species, I hope that time will treat you with kindness and dim the hurt of my passing to faded recollections that a drow would forever remember with perfect clarity. Selfishly, however, I could not leave this world without leaving a piece of me behind. That would never fade. I once accepted my fate. Nothing remained but a shell destined to die. I only had to choose the when and how of my passing. I had refused to be confined to a bed, gasping horribly as my life beeped away to machinery I had no use for. I thought of my Erica, broken, bloodied, and betrayed of my absence. Of Coliat, small and afraid, bravely 
pushing at his eyes to stem the flow of tears I had entrusted him to cry for both our sakes. The expectation to move swiftly to my end vanished upon uniting with your cause. You awoke me, shepherd. My heart quickened, its sluggish beat if only to remain at your side and protect you with everything that I am. I was content to simply watch, take the time left given, and praise all I know for allowing me to walk my final days with hope and certainty that I am worthy of more than my cold isolation solely because you believed. I love you! If all else whispers back into the tide, know this for fact. By grace given me by the goddess Arashu, I bid her divine protection to you, my warrior angel! My Siha, to succeed in your destiny! To light your pa path through the coming darkness, to give you hope when all seems lost. I will await you across the sea. Thanks. That is so romantic. Holy shit. He's a man. I love him. Meet me at the bar? Oh, yeah. No. I did already. New article on Cerberus. Elysium, an evacuation shuttle. Shuttle was carrying children who drew higher... N oh, wait, wait. Okay, let's read this. An evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied Reaper colony of Elysium was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the co colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Their shuttle was saved when the biotic, identified by authorities as Aresh Hagdashlu, <gasps> had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragia as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Okay, so he was the one that we found. He was going to bomb the place? Is that what I'm thinking of or no? Yeah, from Jack's loyalty mission. From Victus, Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information, and the only other person who knew the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for the political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a specter and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus mole. I've forwarded information on his last known location to the specter office on the Citadel. Thanks, Victus. <laughs> hey, Commander. Just wondering if you've got some time in the near future. Nothing critical. Just wanted to chat. Vega. <gasps> From Hackett, I promised here's what we have on Kai Lang. Name, Lang Kai. Age on en enlistment, 16 credentials faked, so he was younger. Patrol, Exodus Cluster, Patrol. Reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers. Sentence reduced in light of previous exemplary service record. Oh, sorry, it's Komonda. Rate of Antion Rapusidida uh, Kite's Nest Received N7 designation from Interplanetary Combatives Academy Dishonorably discharged and imprisoned after charge of first degree murder Ah? Uh? What is known is that the elusive man arranged for Lang's escape from prison employing him as an operative for the next 10 years Lang is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent Working as an infiltrator and assassin, his cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus's phantom class implant. So he's a phantom. All right. From Hackett, I'm ordering the Normandy into dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive, so let's get your crew out of there. You're all on shore leave. That's an order. We need everybody at their best. 
one more thing. Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. Okay. Damn. Bloody Reaper Wally's in it, bruv. It's Tuesday, in it? Come on, da. <laughs> oh, okay, C Fox, cool. Party at his apartment. It's a DLC, okay. So, who's here? Edie, Joker. Let's go see what they have. Come on, da. Okay, trainer. Okay, trainer. How's the bath cat? Come on, da. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. So, so servers wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those <laughs> Remember down. when I came on to you? you? used to work for those assholes. <laughs> Remember when I flirted? <laughs> I worked for servers when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Uh, a little too mainstream and evil. True. The important thing is that you kicked their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the okay, Joker build. and I are on the I'm same page. The Joker and I are on the same page. <laughs> Let's just say Joker and I are on the same page. I think that the okay, so the reason why I'm not going with the renegade options is because I, as Megan, am on the same page as Joker. But you know, I think Shepard Shepard has a soft spot for Kanan. He's been with her from the beginning. She loves him, so that's why I'm not doing the sassy things. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. <laughs> the Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanka was destroyed by a worm. <laughs> this has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. Oh no! You worry about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Oh my god. It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough oh. to replicate its genes in succeeding generations. I mean, yeah, originally. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Maybe you're better than organic, son. Reproduction isn't all there is. Yeah. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. Mm. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. Cute. It appears many humans did in fact do so. <laughs> that was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. <laughs> altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. That's so sweet. I really love that. What a cutie pie. I'm so sorry I didn't trust you, Edie. My, my instincts were totally Balls to the walls, or is it walls to the balls? <laughs> Wait, no, I think. Commander. I think that it's balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What does that even mean? 
balls to the walls. <laughs> what is that expression? <laughs> what the fuck, guys? What is that? Where did that come from? Haze, please. Explain it. <laughs> Oh no, Pharaoh. <laughs> yeah, it is Sith. Okay, so I have a lot of people to talk to. Um, Let's go here first. Let's talk to Chakwas. Oh my god, Kiwi, you just followed me. Thank you. <laughs> Kamunda. Kamunda Kiwi. Oh no. No! Thane's name is there! I'm in denial, I think. I think I'm in, yeah, we already saw Morden's owl and I cried about it, okay? No, I didn't, I didn't cry. I think I'm in denial, I don't, I think I don't realize that this is real. Oh. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there? If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? <laughs> no. I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? He's like, kill Caden. At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Yeah. Let's hope she's looking out for us. Aww. This was her fight, too. Mm-hmm. True. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Good to have Caden back. We can always, we can always use, a, use friendly a friendly gun. gun. Rest in peace, Thane and Morden. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could... Sorry. ...attempt to position any agents in their personal... And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you too. Greetings, Commander. It's a military expression. In many planes, control sticks are topped with a ball-shaped grip. One is the throttle. To get maximum power, you push it all the way forward to the front of the cockpit or firewall. Another controls the joystick. Pushing it forward sends a plane into a dive. So literally, pushing the balls to the firewall would put a plane into maximum speed dive, and figuratively, going balls to the wall is doing something all out with maximum effort. My god, thank you, Hayes. So informative. Appreciate that. <laughs> Kitty, I'm not gonna read yours because you were too commander. slow. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our medijar. Nice. All right. I think she rocks the gray. Honestly, I think she rocks the gray. Help all involved. If you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel. Who else is down here? Oh, Caden. And Liara. Speak to Tactus. Yeah, I talked to Liara. But she didn't have much to say.
Hey, Guardian. Good to see you. Aw, my little drama queen. Hey, I bumped into <laughs> Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. Oh, ew! Ew, keep your eyes off of her. She's Jokers. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. <laughs> She's Just Jokers. The back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kind of like it. Living lean. Was that awkward moment when you kind of wish that you had kept Ashley around? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, they all have a point when they were saying that she's not that so bad. Oh in cut corners. Oh the shit! Place. There's a whole lot of crap. Oh no! Delete the bomb. <laughs> Can't wait to get back out there. <laughs> Dave is Can't laughing. Wait to get back out there. God damn it. God damn it, Kaden. Why you gotta be like this? Um, okay, and so now <laughs> life support. Sag. Well, when you steal Joker, he can consult Edie, Saget. That's actually kind of true. Oops. I did. I did. Come on to Joker. He just- I want him to have his confidence raised, you know? Like... You know what I mean? Like, I just want him to, like, feel good about himself and to know that he's sexy. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Okay. Should I do that now? <laughs> you win this time, Ashley Stans. You win this time. Hey, I don't have any regrets for... I don't have any regrets, period. Also, I don't have... Those regrets, because we I went with my instincts. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. True. In our I would oh, like sorry. To visit the citadel sometime when it is not infested with traitors. I have heard about the Gaiman human you encountered. It is good to have a name for the enemy. I would enjoy killing most. Javik. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm so silly. Just girly things. Just girly things. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the shuttle. Not you being goofy. <laughs> Commanda. <laughs> Kiwi, stop it with the Commanda. Move on. Act natural. It's just, I'm Kamunda. <laughs> I'm Kamunda. So just please be natural about it. I thought it. I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe in Dina. Great example to the other races, huh? Right. That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Code Hitting. What you did was drop them off and bugger out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah. The next time Park didn't come join the party, Esteban. Commander. Let's upgrade something. Nope, just kidding. Oh, what about, um... Guys, what's the... Is the spike thrower? Yes, I love this.
Hey, Commander. You said you. Dino was a dirty bastard. You said you wanted but to I talk to me. I never would have guessed he was that This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Hey. 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 Wait, why does it change pitch? Hey. 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 Sometimes it's hey and sometimes it's it's hey. 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 See, go change his pitch. Hey there. Hey there. Oh, there are all the models of the ships. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours. Is this going to turn sexy? Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. Um. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess. I bought a board on the Citadel. Gooey interface. Not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. <gasps> okay, no, I need, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Okay, no, I need help. I need help. I need to know if this is gonna lock me in a, in a romance with this person. Because I've learned that with this game, it locks you into people. I would like to choose. It locks you into a romance? The shower does not lock you in. Can I please have confirmation? Pineapple. This specific dialogue doesn't. If you join her, yes, it locks you in. Oh, you can keep the shower platonic and trainer just gets a nice shower. Why am I giving her a shower? Okay, let's just see. That's funny. I figured you'd be more interested in a shower. I didn't realize that was an option. It's an option. Well, just give me a moment to grab my things. Oh, I see. Oh. Ah, uh, hot water and room to stretch. I could get lost in here. Mm. Oh, it's like a week's worth of stress is washing off. And the timing's perfect. I was hoping to look nice to somebody. Hot date lined up? Hopefully more than just that. I play for keeps. Sounds serious. That depends on whether she's interested. Oh. Uh, well, good luck. Holler if you need anything. Oh. Will do. Thanks again, Shepard. No problem. Take as long as you like. And don't think this saves you from our chess match. <laughs> Just give me a minute to dry my hair. <gasps> Rabbit, hello. Ha! Oh, come on. <laughs> my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. Aww. That reminds me of a joke. 
What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Just some good old friendship times. Just good old friendship times. Wait, this is a bop. That was awkward. I don't know what the point of that was. I guess there's a romance her if you wanted. That's the only song that is possible. <laughs> Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? More sexy times? With the music in the background! <laughs> it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses. <laughs> 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 now, Cerberus was struck directly Reapers at are attacking the, the galaxy, the galaxy. can hit the Citadel. Is anywhere safe? <laughs> The music is still playing! <laughs> they tried, but they failed, they failed, they failed. Cerberus has limited <laughs> resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do. And it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and Your stay eyeliner needs to be, be reduced. Careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god, fix your eyeliner and then we'll talk. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. That is so funny. Oh my god. Invite who? James? No way! I'm about to die, guys! James, get some time if you want to talk privately. I'm <laughs> just cycling through as everyone just like comes and proposes hey, man, to me. Oh my god. Good, James. <laughs> good, good. This is my favorite night in my room. <laughs> so this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? You want to take a shower? Maybe one day, when I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your command. I'm all passing in the hallway. Sorry, though. <laughs> yeah, why are you here? I huh? guess maybe I got some things on my mind. Please don't be lusting I, I after someone else. I like the attention. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or...? Did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but 
but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same he's day really fine. attacked Earth. And he's voiced by Freddie Prince Jr. Well, so. aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. A lot of kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy oh, working no. with the collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the collector ship. It got ugly. They do, Pizza. We lost I, most of the colonists I know all that. But one of my squad. I wish there were some exactly differences. Operation. I wish there was some differences. I mean, it's very sexy and it's beautiful, but I do wish that there were some differences in the body types. They all have gigantic butts. <laughs> you know? I modded the game to make Shepard buff. I love that. Sanji, I love that. I mean, she's like toned, but I would love to see bigger muscles on her. It would make more sense. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Mm. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously, if you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, Gracias. I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Well... I guess you can't romance him. What is this music? Oh my god. How hilarious. Squeak! Whoa. Y'all, are there any quests that you recommend I do? We have like 45 minutes left of... Yeah, Bobby. Oh shit, look at all these quests! Uh, does anyone, can anyone help me? Help me, help me, help me, help me. Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? Oh god. This is too many quests. <laughs> Just pick a random quest and do it. Writer, I don't think that's a good idea. I think I have a couple of quests to do, yeah. I miss my Liara and I miss my baby. Something that can be done in 45 minutes. Feel free to look around. 
Feel free to look around. Feel free to look around. She's like, I know you had three freaking people up in your room. Distress signal. The distress distress signal? Okay, cool. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on VidCon. Um, should I do that? <laughs> Visit Anderson's apartment. Imagine if you could romance. Messy, a sorry colony. Oh. Uni, I love you. You're such a good girl. You not do your, why are you peeing on the carpet right in front of stream? Hey, Caleb. Uh, she just peed on the carpet. <laughs> this bish. This bish. Oh. small one. <gasps> Laws, hello! Wait, well, what was the point of that? Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that scared the shit out of me! He's cooking risotto now, I think. Ooh, how pretty is this? Wow. Oh my god. Carcosa. Um, I have to skip the American Horror Story intro each time because I'm like so scared of it and reminds me of the reapers that day. sweet do, 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 do. That intro has creepy noises. It really, it's like the scariest freaking thing I've ever heard. Well, we have to take Liar's. Oh my God, look at Kaden. Look at that freaking dude. Hey, hand on my hip. I got my hand on my hip. <gasps> NPC, hello, good to see you. How are ya? Um... Did I get something new? No, Oh. Hmm... I mean, I just have this leveled up so much. I got new... Reduces weapon... This. C 
CJ. I love it, especially when it's Mass Effect, because it's like, I don't know. It's just very awesome to me. Is Unita asleep? She's definitely tired. Um, she just came in and stood on the ground. She's probably gonna go to sleep, but Caleb's cooking right now, so she likes to be around when he's cooking to see if she'll get something. <gasps> Thank you, Sid. I appreciate that. Mass Effect is amazing, yes. You can actually train dogs to be an emotional support for sure. She's she's so emotionally intelligent. <gasps> What's this? I have to do the headshot ones because I have the most chance to get Power recharge speed plus. Okay, awesome. Do I have any more? What's number six? Yes, confirm. Plus 32%. That's so exciting. You can have this one too, because it's so leveled up. <gasps> Hi, Neptune! Oh, nice! Oh, Grace, that's so sweet. That is a shotgun pistol, if I remember correctly. Um, let's see how it turns out. You know? Let's see. Um, you have five points, so I'm gonna give you, um, let's get your pull up a bit. Is everyone drinking water? Hydration check. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? <gasps> Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. Oh? But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos toward us? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free. And why there's such a great source of shame to the Asari. Aww. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Okay. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress. Yeah. Code. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. I love her armor. I think this is my favorite armor of hers yet. This settle is warm. 
recently used. I'm confused. Is this, uh... Is this mesh not... I don't know. I'm Elevator confused. disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Oh god, I'm so scared. Javik, you scared the shit out of me. Please. Be. Less Sound. creepy. There's more than one out there. I'm, I say no to this. I, you know, Shepard does a lot. I'm not, I would rather go home. I want to go home. I don't want to do this. No thanks. Goodbye. Good night. Good night and goodbye. All right. I'm not doing it today. Not today. I hear something. Stay sharp. Oh no. Guys, look at her armor though. It would seem the Asari commandos felt silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Yeah. Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Come on, Reapers. Tash is our new daily schedule. Please note that wake-up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Wake up, 5.30. Breakfast, 5.45. Ew. Morning meditation, 6.15 to 8. Wow. Study period, 8 to 10. Chores, 10 to 12. Midday meal, 12 to 12.45. Classes, study period, supper, evening meditation, free period, curfew. Hi, Unita. Hi, sweet bean. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Please don't bite my toes. Uni. Uni. She bites so softly though, it's so cute. She just does the littlest little night nips. Nip on my toe. She's like, my mom's weak, so I gotta bite her real soft. <laughs> Cause she's a big baby. Oh, also my favorite color, I don't know. I like pink, but I'm in a purple face right now. Heard something. That was my fault, sorry. Yeah, that's true, space. But how do I? Oh, I have to go this way. But how do I go that way? What the frick? I'm just exploring. I'm exploring. 
There's gotta be like a door control in here. No, there's not. Hello? How do I get in? Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Oopsie. <gasps> Beautiful! Wow. Look at that, that's gorgeous. It's snowing. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Yes! Samara? Yes! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. Runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already invested <laughs> this place by the time I arrived. Not Caleb <laughs> losing the door because I screamed too loud. <laughs> not this! Not this! You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? R.I.P. Morin. followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. Mm. And you're here to save them. They are my responsibility. This music and is it's gorgeous. And cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. So, in that PDA voice thing, were they saying, like, someone smuggled, like, a romance novel in or something? Because An they're... An fortress. The Adat Yakshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about oh it at all. Oh my god. How gorgeous is this? How gorgeous is this? Yes, okay, gotcha. Thank you, fantasy. A um, romance video. Or a dirty mag... Okay. Because they're like, um, they try to repress all those urges because they kill people through romance and like sexy times. A new enemy. Oh my god. Hi, a banshee. A motherfucking banshee? Did not. Oh my god. Oh, this is glitching. A movie about glamorous women. Morinth liked it. Okay, cool. Gotcha. So we gotta stay away or be aggressive. Very loud. 
It's like you know when she's hungry. Okay, heroes, gotcha. Done. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god. Shepherd, this is Falaire. Falaire. She and her sister Rila are Ardadyakshi. They have Mother, been... They have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound mm. like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? <laughs> Listen to I'm your sorry. mama. Falaire! <gasps> oh, I thought that sh Okay. Yeah, pull it down. The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. <laughs> I love they're just floating down. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. No. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Sessia later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. Damn, girl. music
Jethrai had the new girl put in a holding chamber. The Jessicar who brought us to her, Jessicar Fora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guard. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Jessicar's code would have demanded an, an execution. I'll, an I'll question some other Jessicars on the level of coercion Fora is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified out of their wits, but it will certainly be the last. Galay. Jethra, I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm approving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Oh, that's kind of sad. Find me a worse combination to let, our, let outside our walls. I'll, I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that and pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their own homeworld. Unless Giannis matures, she won't be among them. Giannis. Oh no. Cool. I will definitely, you know, let's try it out now. Oops, I don't think I can. She's so scary. This music is gorgeous. Who's left? Come and go. Hello, or can Canadio? Oh no. Another dead commando. The Asari should have rid themselves of the Adad Yokshi. Okay, Javik. By rid themselves, you mean kill. My people would never let such monsters walk among them. Javik. They didn't care for the competition. Ooh. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> Bleh. Same. Relatable. Liara in her OG outfit. Oh. Oh my god, this is so pretty, though. We found our bomb. And Falaire. <gasps> oh god. Oh no. 
She's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. <gasps> she just needs to. It's wake like up. their version of zombies. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? Uh oh. We're gonna have to kill her. Oh shit. Mm -mm. <gasps> oh no. Uh oh. Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. And she. I'm sorry. We gotta put her down. She gotta Do go down to Funky bomb? Town. We need a detonator. Oh, we are so Mandos beautiful. Would have had one. We gotta find it. This is so loud. Can you make your cries a little bit quieter? We have a husk army. Not this. God. Ugh! Wait, I want to try. I think something. Oh, fuck. How did that happen? How did that? I was like, why isn't Nova working? Oh, no. Okay, cool. Check out those dodges, babies. Oh, wow. Okay, that didn't work, but that's fine because... Uh, this is my Dark Souls techniques coming into play. Ah, I hate this. So scary. They're so loud, y'all. We're gonna have to put her out of her misery. Thank you so much, Max. I appreciate that a lot. Uh oh. Oh, she's okay. Oh, she's saying just do the bomb. What are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Mm. Move. No. Rina. Oh, sad. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but. Is she screaming?
not your slave. Time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. Mm -hmm. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Alair, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to um, save Alair. Samara. Mother, no. My daughters. <gasps> you were all so. What? Let. Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. Wow. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Wow. Then the code permits you to stay as you are. Oh. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit. As a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. Aww. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. That's my girl. That's my girl. I love her. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Wow. Gorgeous. That was a great quest. I really loved that. Very moving. Very, very moving. I love Samara. Would she have died if I didn't do the L2? I had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. Wow. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Vidcom. Um... Okay. Let's save first, and then I'll hear what he has to say. Shepard. Hi, Illa. Welcome. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Really? Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. Oh. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Oh. Faith. Oh. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? 
It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our London? Oh, come on, that? <laughs> come on, that? Are we going to London, mate? Sounds bad. It's oh, Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. <laughs> Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. <laughs> it's Tuesday, in it. On it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. I know, he's sexy, the right? Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. <laughs> Lang is a vicious bastard. Oh. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Ooh. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. Anderson out. Anderson out.